Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Joe Dante. Now we're going to look at the trailer for a little monster movie that really didn't play very many places and sort of got found later on television, but uh, it had something overall of its competition at the time. It was the only one endorsed by famous monsters of Filmland, the monster of Piedras Blancas. Famous monsters of Hollywood magazine names it... Award winner. Well, the narrator got the name of the magazine wrong, but hey, any publicity is good publicity. This is one of surprisingly few movies to take advantage of the famous monsters connection, apart from AIP and William Castle, who later wrote a dumbed-down, condescending column for the magazine. On his way up, ace cinematographer Phil Lathrop shot this by-the-numbers independent picture on the California coast in Kiyakos and Point Conception. The producer was monster designer Jack Kavan, who worked on Creature in the Black Lagoon, The Mole People, and other icons of the 50s. When Universal retrenched in the face of losing a war with television, dozens of employees were let go, and some went into production on their own. Kivan managed to incorporate parts of his earlier creations into this new monster suit, including mole people claws, metaluna monster feet, and a scaly, generally lagoon creature-like zipperless body. But this monster doesn't wistfully yearn for the heroine, he just wants to tear your head off, making this quite a bit gorier than the competition at the time. The torment of unendurable suspense. When Famous Monsters ran a photo of the monster in a Hamlet-like pose contemplating York's severed head, it led to a lot of magazines being torn up by angry parents, teachers, and camp counselors. The monster of Piedras Blancas.